On the screen, there are two pictures of a McDonald's cheeseburger in the UK in the year 2021 and 2022. Not much of a difference, is there? Now look again. Last year, and in fact for the last 14 years, a McDonald's cheeseburger only cost 99 pence. Fast forward to today, a cheeseburger costs £1.99, which is a 20% increase in price. Now, if we look at the statistics, we can kind of understand why a cheeseburger is more expensive, because the ingredients make them also more expensive themselves. You may have guessed it by now, but these are the effects of inflation, which is defined as an increase in the overall level of prices. But what are the causes today? That is what my group and I will present today. And to tackle this topic, here's how our presentation is outlined. We'll start with the nature of inflation, then its causes, impacts, and finally, policies. Inflation is a widespread economic phenomenon include inducing concern of increasing overall level of price and decreasing the value of currency known as certain economy medium of exchange. Inflation, as famously stated by economist Milton Friedman, is always and everywhere monetary phenomenon. This statement appropriately reflects the global inflation set in that present. The nature of inflation covers a wide spectrum of factors. One of the one of the significant ones being increased is price, especially when this is continuous. This is referred to as continuous rise in price. For instance, during the 1910s in the US with one dollar, consumer can buy 125 lemon. Since 2010, with one dollar, consumer cannot even buy two lemon. Uh today in 2022, inflation caused an increase in price for all good up. Archive medical commodity have been observing a rise of to three about two percent in price. I feel have also increased by an astonishing number of seventy point four percent. In addition to continuous rising price, another aspect of inflation implies the continuous decline of the value of money. Simply put, the depreciation of currency. To illustrate, suppose that by the end of 1983, a consumer of Ultimate City deposited a simply amount of 270 Vietnam dollars in their bank account. 31 years later, by the end of 2014, when seeking to withdraw their money, only 27 dollars remain. Similarly to Vietnam, many other economies in war is war experience is depreciation of currency, which explains the nature of inflation. Thus, as Freeman stated, inflation is primarily a question of money. Its nature can be explained by continuous price and, price and, co and continued depreciation of currency. Many economists have been arguing what really are the causes of inflation. The answer will vary according to these two different approaches. One, followers of the monetarist approach like Arvind Fisher or Milton Friedman thinks that there is a relationship between the quantity of money and economic events. Oppositely, we have Keynesian approach, which is obviously named after its creator John Milton Keynes. Keynesian theory does not directly suggest that money supply will affect prices. We'll go through Keynesian viewpoint first. This theory suggested that there are three main types of inflation, demand pull inflation, cost push inflation, and built-in inflation and each type is caused by a different set of factors. For demand pull inflation, this situation is described as too many dollars chasing too few goods. And as you can see on the graph, it occurs when a positive shock to the demand makes the aggregate demand curve shift to the right and exceeds the initial equilibrium point. The new equilibrium point is now moved higher, which means that price has increased. And therefore, the causes of this inflation are things that shift the AD to the right, such as increased government spending, a reduce in tax, or increased money supply, etc. The second type, cost push inflation. This occurs when the negative shock to the aggregate supply curve makes a shift left, unable to satisfy demand without rising the price. And there are many reasons why this inflation happened. Government's minimum wage policy can play a role. When wages companies have to pay increase, production costs increase, and therefore prices are driven up. Supply chain disruptions that make raw materials and equipment cost higher also contribute to this inflation. For example, 
A global pandemic COVID-19 has affected production in every country, creating supply shortages and rise overall price. Natural disaster can also be a reason why, because disaster events halt productions and rises the price of inputs. And the last type of inflation mentioned in Keynesian theory is both in inflation. This type of inflation reflects the past and pertains in the present. It is a self-made and adaptive inflation from those who expect the prices to rise in the future. It is the price sweet spiral and the curse when workers, seeing that prices nowadays is rising, also want employers to increase their salaries and wages, and accordingly to cover the increase in labor costs. Companies increase the prices of goods and services offered to customers. We will now have a quick look at the monetary theory of inflation, which is considered as opposing the Keynesian model and only explains long-run inflation. Essentially, monetarists believe that the speed at which the money supply grows or shrinks affects inflation. To understand this, we must also understand the quantity theory of money with the equation mv equal py. V is the velocity of money, P is the price level, Y is the quantity of output, M is the quantity of money, meaning that the nominal GDP generated has to be bought with the effective amount of money available. So if you need to buy $100 worth of things, you need $100. So assuming that V is stable, Y is fixed by factors of production and technology, when central banks print more money, M, the price level, P, fluctuates. So when central banks increase their money supply rapidly, a high rate of inflation risks to occur. So that is another cause that explains inflation today. Hello teachers, now I will discuss about this in the impact of inflation. Um, inflation engenders diverse effects for in the social and economic aspects. Below we discuss for the positive and negative impact of inflation on society and the economy. So firstly, I will mention about the social impact. In terms of social impact, the primary consequences of inflation is the increased cost of living. As mentioned this previously, inflation costs are uh, right in the, in the price of goods or service. Therefore, the cost of living will increase because the cost of necessities like gasoline, food, housing, and so on are increasing as well. As price of goods and service increase, consumers will have to spend more to buy necessities, the needs, and necessities they want. As such, as such, um, social social impacts have uh affect to uh, the board disproportionately. For instance, consumer of low income who are sticky waste due to the high level of competition in the markets, experience harsher living conditions during high inflation barriers. Low income household have a higher marginal propensity to consume side uh, a bit proportion of their overall income is spent on necessities. Meanwhile, middle income and high income households and consumers tend to purchase items they want in order luxury, meaning that they would have a lack of a cushion uh, against the increased cost of living. Furthermore, inflation on the one and gap between the poor and rich bringing in many disadvantages for lower class household. So the next one, nevertheless, inflation on the holds a social benefit to some degree. I mentioned this in the principal chain, the chain principle of marketing. People fray a certain chase up between unemployment and inflation because inflation discourages saving um this current saving when currency devalues. It puts consumer spending and investment as a result. When uh, a credit remains right, businesses who would adapt and recruit more employees to better satisfy the rising demand. As a result, it inflation rise, unemployment falls. However, not that trade up is only true in the sovereign. As for economy impact, Inflation reduces the effectiveness of the mechanism of exchange in the economy. It is common knowledge that inflation tends to devaluate currencies. With a higher inflation rate, the values of its currency would be more devalued compared to other nations. Take Zimbabwe as an example. Their 100 trillion Zimbabwean dollars just equal to 40 cents of in the U.S. Uh, in 2019. As a result, nations with higher inflation 
typically weaken their national currencies with order. When the currency power depreciates, fewer people want to hold the currency and they will invest their access in other currencies where it be more valuable, profitable. Uh, the exchange rate between inflated nations compared to others would pose a gap, making it more expensive to import goods and services. In addition, when inflation makes the currency devaluate, it drives the price of domestic goods and service to increase. Uh, domestic goods and service are now less competitive compared to uh, the import, imported one, and lowering the demand for domestic goods and boosting exports. So the effect of uh, in inflation in terms of economic impacts Im implies shift the exchange rate and change uh, in import and export. Inflation can be seen to have mostly neg negatively impact. However, it does contribute positively to boosting investment and lowering the cost of borrowing. As mentioned, uh, when money devaluates, investors try to fight back with the uh, impact of the inflation by uh, investing the access into illiquid access, such, such as stocks, bonds, or real estate. Uh, the main reason is to lessen the loss of value of access. Investors uh, want to invest in other form because when the inflation is high, investors will uh, get more uh, investment return because the invest rate also rise as well. Uh, for stock and bond, they can uh, invest in inflation index bonds, uh, which give a return higher than the inflation rate when it is held into uh, maturity uh, for real estate because the price of real estate also rise when other price increase due to inflation land owners they do not have to worry about the the currency their currency is getting uh, devalued they will profit more from uh, inflation and lastly debt benefit due to inflation when people borrow money from the bank they need to pay annual interest in case uh, the inflation rate is higher than the uh, when inflation is higher than the interest rate they benefit they will pay uh, the amount less valuable than the real value they uh, borrow from the bank although inflation has both pros and cons most governments want to lower inflation rates and have them issuing monetary and fiscal policies to help curb inflation Many modern economists are monetarists who believe that inflation can be best controlled by regulating money supply within the economy. And in this case, contractionary monetary policies would be applied to lower the money supply and lower consumer spending. And this can be done by two main monetary policies, to either increase the interest rate or to increase bank lending rates and reserve requirements. As for increasing interest rates, this makes borrowing more expensive and people would borrow less and spend less. As for increasing bank lending rates and reserve requirements, this hinders banks from lending so much money and therefore also lowers consumer spending. In addition to monetary policies, contractionary fiscal policies can also be used to adjust driving forces of demand and supply. To be specific, governments may want to raise taxes. Consumers will presume that they have lower income and thereby lowering the demand for goods and services and reduce consumer spending. And as a result, a lower inflation rate occurs. And besides, given that government spending stimulates aggregate demand, if the government aims to lower aggregate demand and consumer spending, it may do so by decreasing government spending. And this is how fiscal policies can help in curbing inflation. We are now reaching the end of our presentation, and to conclude, here's a small diagram summarizing everything that we have presented. As we said, the causes of inflation mainly lie in the monetarist model with the quantity theory of money, and the Keynesian model with the man pull, cost push, and built-in inflation. Social and economic impacts have also resulted from inflation, and governments have monetary and fiscal policies to curb inflation. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.